everyone welcome to the next session of answers workbench tutorials in this session we are solving this numerical by using steady state thermal analysis of answers workbench let's read the numerical calculate the rate of heat flow per meter square through a furnace wall consisting of 200 mm thick inner layer of chrome brick a center layer of kaolin brick 100 mm thick and an outer layer of machinery brick 100 mm thick the unit surface conductance at the inner surface is 74 watt per meter square degree celsius and the outer surface temperature is 70 degree celsius the temperature of the gases inside the furnace is 1670 degree celsius what temperature prevails at the inner and outer surfaces of the center layer center layer is of kaolin The value of K for chrome brick, kaolin brick, and machinery brick is given. Assume steady state heat flow. So from this statement, I understand that I have to use steady state thermal analysis. And these values which you see in bold are the answers that I expect. These are the values which I have obtained by theoretical solution. Now I want to check these solutions are correct or not by using ANSYS. So let's get started. I'll first go to steady state thermal and double click on it. I'll go to engineering data and double click. I'll first add the three materials that I have. The first one is chrome brick. Isotropic thermal conductivity for this material is given as 1.25. The next material given is kaolin brick. The value of K for this material is 0.074. and the third material is machinery brick the value of k is 0.55 so that's how i've created three new material now i'll go to project and update project so the three materials will get added to my project i'll cancel the centering data from here i'll go to geometry and double click on it I'll go to units and choose millimeter. I'll go to x y plane, look at. I'll go to sketching and draw the bricks. So the first sketch here is of the cross section. I'm going to assume the value of cross section as say 100 by 100 mm. You can assume any value of cross section. This is not important. What is important is the thickness. That is what I'm giving now. So on extrude, I am going to apply the thickness as 200, which is for the first material. Generate. Now on this face, so I'll choose the face option. Here I want to make a new plane. Generate. Look at. On this, I am going to sketch a rectangle. I'll go to constraints, coincident, and I'll select two lines at a time. one by one so that i can directly draw the cross section area now i'll extrude this area that i have just created now for this i am not going to give add material i am going to give add frozen because in between the two bricks that is chrome and machinery brick the inner surface is of kaolin so they should not get mixed up with each other so the inner surface i am going to add here as add frozen generate Now on this plane surface again I want to make another new plane generate look at I'll go to sketching rectangle draw rectangle here then I'll go to constraints coincide and use a similar process that I used for kaolin brick I'll go to extrude add material because this is the third time this width is 100 mm generate now while extruding the center portion also this value should be 100 so make sure so this is my three layered composite brick that is created now this completes my geometry i will go to model and double click on it
I first align my body. Then I'll go to geometry. The first solid has material chrome brick. Second solid has material kaolin brick. And the third one has material machinery brick. I'll go to mesh. I'll go to sizing. I'll change relevant center to fine. Update. Next, I'll go to steady state thermal. On this phase, I want to apply a temperature that is given as 1670. Also, in this same phase, I want to insert convection factor. That value is given as 74. On the other end, the temperature has been given as 70 degrees Celsius. So that completes all my loading condition. Then I'll go to solution. I want to see the result for thermal temperature. I also want to see the thermal total heat flux. And I want to see the temperature at this inner surface of the kaolin brick and the outer surface of kaolin brick. So I am going to use this technique of suppressing the first body. Then I will go to solution. I will select the surface, right click, insert, probe, temperature. So this will give me the temperature on the inner surface. I will go to solid 1 and show the body. Then again I will go to the solid 3 and I want to suppress it. So that this side gets exposed. And I am going to choose this side, right click, insert, probe temperature then i'll go to the third body and show body then i'll go to solution solve i'll go to temperature you can see here the temperature profile over the entire body i'll see the total heat flux the value over here is 945 watt per meter square you can check the solution by using theory i get 938.58 it is very close and correct Next, I'll go to temperature probe. This is the inner surface of kaolin brick. The temperature is 1518 degrees Celsius. By theory, I get 1507.1 degrees Celsius. Again, it is close. On the outer surface of kaolin brick, the temperature is 240.46 degrees Celsius. When I check by theory, it is 238.7 degrees Celsius. Now, you must be knowing by now that the solution that we obtain by ANSYS is always going to be an approximate value. The exact value can be obtained by theory, like I showed you. And by ANSYS, you're getting a solution which will be close to the theoretical value. So you can compare your solutions by theory and by ANSYS method, and you can see that your answers are correct. So with this, I end the session. I hope you have understood the procedure for solving this numerical. I will be solving this numerical by using ANSYS APDL method as well. Check out the solution by ANSYS APDL to know which solution gives you more correct values. The value which you obtain by ANSYS Workbench or by ANSYS which you obtain by ANSYS APDL. Which one is more closer to the theoretical solution? If you have any doubts, please write to me in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for latest updates of my videos. See you in the next session. Thank you.